Welcome to our lesson on quadratic and linear inequalities. So in this lesson, we're going to use a sketched graph and algebra to find the solution to a quadratic and linear inequality. So we'll begin with f of x is equal to x squared and g of x is equal to x plus 12. We're going to sketch these two functions on the same graph and then we're going to find the coordinates of intersection and we'll use this to find the set of values of x for which f of x is less than or equal to g of x. So we'll begin by sketching the two graphs, which you can see here. Now that you can see there are two points of intersection, here and here, and at these two points, the y values of the two functions are the same. So because of this, we can say that x squared is equal to x plus 12. Now we can create a quadratic equation, which is equal to zero. So x squared minus x minus 12 is equal to zero. We can factorize it where we get x minus four and x plus three. And now we can find the solutions where x is equal to four and x is equal to negative three. And this tells us that they intersect here at negative three and here and positive 4. So for part 3, we can find the set of values for x where f of x is less than or equal to g of x. And this is along the parabola but under the green line. And we can see at this point that x is less than or equal to 4 but greater than or equal to negative 3. And these are the set of values for this inequality here. Okay, let's try another question. So do you want to try and sketch a graph of f of x and g of x on this axis? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So here we have our sketch graph. Now remember the two y values at the points of intersection are the same. So we're going to find these two points algebraically where x squared plus 5x is equal to 2x. We'll make this quadratic equal 0 by taking away 2x from both sides. So x squared plus 3x is equal to 0. Now we can solve this quadratic where we have x lots of x plus 3. So x is equal to 0 and x is equal to negative 3, which are here and at the origin here. And now we know the two x values of the intersections, we can solve this inequality. So this will be where the parabola is below the green line. So x is greater than or equal to zero, but less than or equal to three. Okay, so let's try one more question. So do you want to try and sketch a graph of f of x and g of x again? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So here we have our two sketches. Now we can try and find the coordinates of the intersection and the set of values of x for which f of x is less than or equal to g of x. Do you want to try and do this yourself? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So again, we'll create a quadratic equation knowing that this y value and this y value are equal. So x squared minus 2x minus 15 is equal to 4x minus 20. We'll take away the 4x and add 20 to both sides. So x squared minus 6x plus 5 is 0. We can factorize this. We have x minus 5 and x minus 1. So our solutions are x equals 5 and positive 1. So these are where the two lines intersect. So finally, f of x is less than g of x along these two points, where it is less than or equal to 5, but greater than or equal to 1. Okay, thank you for watching, and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again, and take care.